So our first question is asking us to find the pattern for column 5. So I went ahead and found a common difference by subtracting 9 from 6. And for this I did the same thing. So 10 minus 6 is 4, 15 minus 10 is 5 and so on and so on. And for our next question, they're asking us to find the n term. So the formula for finding n term is a1 plus with n minus 1 times with d. We use this formula because it is an arithmetic sequence. So now we can just put in our value. So a is the first pattern and d is the common difference. So that would be 6 plus with n minus 1 and our common difference is 3. So now we can expand the bracket and then simplify it giving us a 3 n plus 3 and that is our n term. So, so this is an arithmetic sequence like I said now I can just erase that. Okay. So now you may be wondering what kind of sequence is this? Well, there are only three types of sequence, quadratic, geometric, and arithmetic. Since you can see that this has the common difference have their own common difference, we can say that that is a quadratic sequence. But you don't have to worry about that because the questions are not going to ask about that for this particular set of questions. So the next question is talking about 24 grammas equals to the n pattern. So our n term is 3n plus 3. So we can just equal that to 24. Then we can find n which is 7. So now they're talking about the 7th n term. And since they're asking for the total number of mats in the pattern, let me just draw the screen, continuing from the table above. So that'll be five, six, and seven. So I'm just gonna copy those values onto my grid. So that'll be eighteen to twenty-eight. So I'm gonna add three here, add three here, giving me twenty-four and twenty-one. Okay. So, like I said, it is a quadratic sequence, so it's going to add 7 plus 1, which is plus 8, and then plus 9. So, 28 plus 8 equals to 36, and 36 plus 9 is 45. So, our total number of maths in pattern 7 is 45. So, now let's move on to the next question. It looks pretty long. It's a 6 mark question. Okay. So it might be a bit tricky, but don't worry, I'll guide you step by step. So let's see what the question is asking. 6 mats is used to make the first pattern. 16 mats is used to make the first two patterns. And to make the first n pattern, the formula is given. Okay, so that is n equals to 1 and n equals to 2. So now we can just sub our n into the formula given. So 1 over 6 times with 1 cube plus a times 1 square plus b times 1 giving us 6. And for the second one is 1 over 6 times 2 cube plus a times 2 square plus b times 2 giving us 16. So we'll just simplify that. So 1 over 6 plus a plus b equals to 6. For this it would be 8 over 6 which you could simplify. So that would be 4 over 3 plus 4a plus 2b equals to 16. Okay, so now we can solve it by using simultaneous. And I think I'm going to use the substitution method. So let me just make A the subject for this 
equation says 6 minus 1 over 6 minus b so I can simplify that giving me 35 over 6 minus b okay now we'll just sub that a into this equation so that'll be 4 over 3 plus 4 times 35 over 6 minus b plus with 2 sorry that is b plus with 2b equals to 16 so now you can just solve it so 4 over 3 plus with um I'm going to put that into my calculator. So 70 over 3 minus 4b plus 2b equals to 16. Okay, so now I'm just going to find b straight away. So that will be 16 minus 4 over 3 minus 70 over 3 over minus 2. Then you just put all these values into the calculator. Make sure you put it in properly so you don't get another value. So that gave me an answer of 13 over 3, which I turned into decimal. It gave me 4.33333, and I just rounded to 3 significant figure. So for A, since we said to find a is 35 over 6 minus b so now we can just put our value so 35 over 6 minus 13 over 3 give me 3 over 2 which is 